The first energy level is really small, it hardly has room for electrons at all. An S sub level is all there is to electrons that constantly whiz. 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d10. A little bit larger the second shell, two sub levels there in do dwell. An S sub level that maxes at 2 and a 6 for a P, if that's okay with you. It's okay with me. 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d. The third shell is even larger still, an S and a P top the build. D sub level is added on top ten, electrons can't fit at a pop. 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d10. The fourth shell is the largest yet, S and a P and a D, I'll bet. An F sub level is also seen. How many electrons? Up to 14. 14, that's a lot! 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d10. Electrons are found outside the nucleus. They zip around in energy levels, which are made up of sub levels, which can then be broken down into orbitals and Two electrons per orbital, each one has opposite spin. Woo 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 woo! And it's 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d10! Why does 4s fill up before 3d? Don't know. Because the font has enormous you I see. see. Overlap 4s has less energy Aww. than the supposedly lower 3d. 3d! I love seeing in 3d! 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d10. The overlaps increase in frequency. Oh. 4f fills up way after 5p. That's weird. Keep track of the overlaps. Really cool. Oh. You just gotta use the diagonal, diagonal rule. I love the diagonal rule. And 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d10. Something that I heart! Oh yeah! And now? It's 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d10! 